Hey friends, it's Holly. Welcome back to Living It Country. Today, we have another beautiful farmhouse to tour for the fall season. I am so, so excited to have Victoria here from Lakefront Farmhouse on Instagram. She lives in a beautiful lake home in Northern Florida. It's absolutely gorgeous. And you guys are gonna get so many ideas from this new built, beautiful farmhouse home. So make sure you guys go ahead and follow her on Instagram and let's go ahead and tour her home today. Hey y'all, it's Victoria from Lakefront Farmhouse on Instagram. I'm gonna do a little home tour for y'all today. Um, I have never done one of these before, but I hope y'all will enjoy it. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Um, so we are on a lake here in North Florida see through there but I'll show y'all a better view later on in the tour. So we're in North Florida and we started building last year in February and we moved in in December. So this is our first fall here. So I was excited to be able to decorate for fall with all the pumpkins and everything. We went with a white exterior. It was always my dream to have a white farmhouse with a big porch and I've always loved the look of you know a few steps leading up to a front porch so we did a raised slab and we did a brick skirting and brick steps so I love that just some simple green landscaping I'm, I don't have too much of a green thumb so I didn't want too much to have to take care of. So our exterior color is Sherwin-Williams Pure White. It is kind of difficult being on a lake in Florida with a white house. You get a lot of bugs. They are very much so attracted to the white, so it can be hard to keep clean. So we, we did some cedar shutters double front doors, some rocking chairs. Pay no attention to my dying moms. <laughs> they are not easy to keep alive. So just some simple um, fall decor on the porch. Oh, and we did a paint blue porch ceiling. Um, I think it's kind of a cool Southern tradition, you can see that. I had always loved seeing blue porch scenes, so we went with that. Okay, we'll go ahead and head inside, come on in. So, upon entering, you've got the staircase up to the second floor. And off to the left, we've got our little Hall bath. It's small, but I, I think it has some character, mainly because of one, the shiplap, and we, it's hard to get a good view in here because it is so small. But if you can see, we got this old wa um, antique wash stand and kind of converted it into our vanity for this hall bathroom. You know, added the, the bowl sink on top and the plumbing give it kind of an old feel. Some vintage botanical prints I found at an antique store. And the whole room is shiplap, which I think is really neat. Okay, moving to our entryway. Um, we've got a little chandelier up there and an old tobacco basket. Another antique find. You'll hear me say a lot during the tour, you know, antique, vintage. A lot of pieces I thrifted on Facebook Marketplace. Um, like this old church pew was one of those Marketplace finds. Um, we went and picked it up at a church not too far away who was selling them. And I, I knew just from 
when we were building this house that I wanted a pew in the entryway, so we made sure we had we had room for that. And also this little peg shelf is an antique find, and I love to decorate that, change it out for the seasons. So I love this spot of the house. Um, the interior, you'll see a lot of shiplap as well. Um, and the color on almost all of the interior is also Sherwin-Williams Pure White. Um, I wanted to do mostly white walls because I knew I was going to have a lot of, you know, brown wooden antique furniture that I wanted that contrast. And I love the combination of woods and whites. So looking back at this wall again, um, hopefully I don't make y'all dizzy, but that door there actually leads to our dog's room. We have two golden retrievers, um, and instead of having, you know, a kennel somewhere in the house, we just made the under the stair space the dog's room, and it worked out nice for them. So they have their own space. So here's looking back at the entry. So moving to our kitchen, um, so you'll notice these two doors here, both of these green doors, I found at a vintage market a few years ago. And we kind of put them in storage for when we built this house. Um, they weren't the right color and I knew I wanted my kind of pop of color in this house to be green, like a farmhouse green. So I actually painted them myself distressed to kind of keep that you know chippy look going so here's kind of pan out and show y'all the view of my kitchen so we went with um, black leathered granite it's not super shiny like your typical granite. Um, it's got more of a, a matte finish and has a little bit of a texture to it. Um, one thing that was big on my list was having a custom vent hood and floating shelves to display some of my vintage goodies. Um, I love collecting old kitchen items and tools as you can see and our backsplash we did just white subway tile with black grout kind of kept it you know classic and simple and here we have our farm sink I love that, it has nice space to it. So moving this way, and as you can tell, we have a very open um, floor plan. You know, the kitchen, dining, living, everything's open. You can see through to the back of the house as soon as you step inside. But we'll head over to the dining room and here is another um, Facebook Marketplace find. Actually, the table and chairs are from Facebook Marketplace. So the table is an old farm table. You can see the old turned legs and the chippy paint, you know, peeling off. It is somewhere around 150 years old. We drove to Savannah to pick it up. And it was well worth the drive, even though Savannah's not, but maybe three hours away from here. But I just love the character in this. I knew that I wanted it on farm table in this space. And so again, these chairs were from Facebook Marketplace as well. They were just oak chairs and I painted them black a little while ago. And I did Simple little fall tablescape. Um, hung some plates on the wall and some vintage inspired botanical prints. Those are from Antique Farmhouse. 
from, but I love those in the dining room. And I did add a rug under the table just a, maybe two or three months ago, um, just to kind of soften it up. You know, it was the wood table on the wood floors. And so to add some texture and soften it up, I did add that rug. Um, speaking of the floors, I get a lot of question, questions about our floors. They are engineered pine, wide plank. And so a couple of things that were probably the most important things to me when building the house was shiplap. I wanted a lot of shiplap and also to have floors that looked original to you know an old farmhouse had that old feel because even though yes this is a new build i just i wanted it to feel like an old farmhouse so we found these floors i found them online searching one day it's from a company out of georgia called authentic reclaimed um, we are so happy with them we get a lot of compliments and questions as i said um, and they came pre-finished so just and they're dirt like i said we have two golden retrievers and they're they're durable um so we are going to move into the mud room slash laundry room um so it's kind of a long and narrow space i'll show you the other side Where our washer and dryer is, a little sink and some cabinets. But we did another green door here. But back over here, so we did a built in um, little bench with some storage space for shoes and things like that, and some cabinets to hide all, you know, the not very pretty stuff. But um, this room is you know a catch-all for dog stuff baby stuff shoes keys everything um, this piece here is another antique find very old little cabinet and it was just the perfect size for this space this room gets a lot of natural light from all the windows so and there you can see the lake again. So we'll move back. Here's the view of kitchen again. Okay, so move into the living room. We went with a couple of the IKEA Ektorp couches. They are pretty similar and, you know, look-wise to the expensive Pottery Barn ones, but at a fraction of the cost, and we've been happy with them. So, um, we did a brick fireplace. Um, it's the same brick that's on the exterior of the house, and... Um, I just love the texture and the warmth um, and the interest that it brings to the space. You know, it breaks up all the white. And we had our brick layers do what's called sloppy mortar. And so it, it basically is just, well, like it says, kind of sloppy. And it's not perfect straight lines of the mortar. It's... It's just got a little more character and is a little more rustic. So I do love our fireplace and being able to decorate it for, for the seasons. Our mantle is an old reclaimed mantle, kind of under those fall stems, but hopefully you can see it. And the corbels underneath them are also very, very old. We got those at a salvage place in North Carolina last year. And just thought those were 
really neat. So we did built-ins on either side of the fireplace. We didn't do them, we were originally going to, you know, do the built-ins to the wall and on this side, you know, do it to this doorway. But we chose not to because during Christmas time I do have my tree over in this corner and so it was going to cover most of it up anyway. But it gave me space to be able to, you know, add maybe like this record player and the ladder and, you know, some decor pieces. So here's another Facebook Marketplace find, this old table. We use it as a coffee table. My husband actually cut a few inches off of the legs to make it a good coffee table height. Um, it was a little bit taller, um, but we wanted to use it as a coffee table, so it worked out perfectly. And again, I love the just the rustic feel to it. We did layered rugs. We've got a couple of reclining chairs over here. Um, this piece is, again, very old, somewhere around like 1860s, um, very old rustic buffet. I fell in love with it when I saw it, I just have to have it. And I found these old green chippy gates at an antique store, a couple years ago. Um, I love putting together little vignettes with, um, with some of my old vintage and antique items. So you'll see that some around the house. These are some thrifted vintage prints. Okay, and we've got big sliders out to our back porch. We'll go ahead and head out there, show y'all real quick. So the back porch is screened. Again, we're in Florida, we're on a lake, and you've got a lot of bugs. So we did it screened back here so that we would be able to enjoy it. Got a couple rocking chairs and um, swing to be able to sit and relax and look at the beautiful view. Um, we do have plans to one day, you know, build a nice dock. This one is obviously pretty dilapidated, but one day we will. And I get a lot of um, questions and comments too about our the trees and the moss. So these here are, I'm gonna open up the screen door so you can see better. We have a lot of, these tall skinny trees are cypress trees. And um, we have a lot of oak like this one as well. And hanging moss in the trees is very common, I guess in the Southeast in general. And I'm just so used to it that, um, like I said, I have people asking what's that stuff hanging in the trees and oh my goodness that's so pretty but yeah that is very common i do love the look of the moss in the tree that's very very pretty so that dock is actually my husband's parents dock we actually live next door to them which is nice and we just had sod put in a couple of weeks ago so that's why you still see the lines in the grass but Happy to have that. So we love being on the lake. It's very relaxing. We are lake people, you know. We do all the activities, lake surfing, boating, jet skiing, all that sort of thing. My husband is um, a fisherman and he's actually lived on this lake his whole life. So looking back this way, I've got a this old Hoosier cabinet I've had since I was in college. 
um, kind of a, a little potting station and we've got our table out here in case we wanted to eat out on the porch. So just simple back here, nothing, nothing too fancy, but we love it. Okay, so we'll head back inside. And we are gonna head to the master bedroom. Um, this white buffet is another Facebook Marketplace find, but I did paint it a while back. Painted it white and distressed it. And I love this chippy old green chair. Again, green is kind of my, my color in this house. So I decorated the buffet with some antique mirrors. And here's again, you know, another one of my vignettes that I put together with some of my goodies. Got to decorate it for fall now. You know, I know this, this vintage stuff, some people may see it as junk. And that's okay, but I like junk. Um, I love going to antique stores and just finding those vintage pieces and using them to decorate most of my decor and um, even furniture, as I pointed out, is, is from antique stores or thrifted. There's some more um, antique prints, got those at an antique store. And so these floors we have throughout the house. They're everywhere except for the bathrooms, like our bathroom, and then the two bathrooms upstairs. But everywhere else we have these floors. And you know, we just put rugs down where we wanted some, you know, comfort, I guess. So, we have, I love having the, the windows in this room for natural light and we have you know a door that leads out to the porch our baby's little swing out there <laughs> she loves that but we did go with some blinds just for privacy so those are nice to have but, so I did a little gallery wall over here with some um, vintage inspired prints Um, so we did just the one wall, kind of an accent wall of the shiplap, but the color, I don't know if you can tell, but this is a very light gray. It is Sherwin-Williams crushed ice. So it's just very soft, but neutral and bright. So my husband built me this peg rail shelf. I have this big wall to fill and I love that I can you know, layer in more of my vintage finds, um, change it out for the seasons. I think it was the perfect touch for that space. These are old reclaimed um, French doors. Added a lot of character to this space. I'm gonna show you this little corner of our bedroom. So this chair I thrifted for $5 and it didn't have a back to it. I added a burlap back and just painted the cushion white and I love how it turned out. And found these vintage prints at an antique store. And so moving to our bathroom. Um, it was always a dream of mine to have a clawfoot tub. I've always loved them. They are just so cute. They're almost like a piece of art. And so I'm so excited to finally have one. And we've got chandelier up above it. And did a little gallery wall with some vintage artwork. So our bathroom is also kind of long and narrow, but functional and so we've got our double vanity here 
Get the black mirrors against the white shiplap. In our shower, we again did white subway tile, but just um, they're bigger in the black grout. And our shower heads, we did it. I always liked the kind of expo exposed plumbing look. Got a back layer there, but we did two shower heads in the shower. So, try to move me back around here without making you dizzy. So, this piece here was the first piece of furniture I ever painted. Not long after we got married, my parents let me have this old cabinet and I painted it white. And in our house plans, this space right here was supposed to be um, like a little linen closet for towels and stuff. And in the framing stage of building the house, um, you know, the studs were up, you know, had the closet framed out and I told them to take it down because I decided I wanted to put a piece of furniture here instead. And I think it worked out. It added, it added some charm to the room. So I love that. And then back there is just um, the separate toilet room and our closets. So we won't go back there, but. Oh, I almost forgot one thing in our bathroom that I thought was really neat. So we actually had to tear down a house that was on this lot before building. And the house had this wide plank rustic wood on the walls. Um, I can't, I want to say it's cypress. I'm not hundred percent sure, but I, I told them to save it because I wanted to use it um, on the ceiling of our bathroom. So I thought that was a neat touch to use that wood from the house that we had to tear down. And yeah, we have a fan in the bedroom. We're in Florida and it gets really hot. <laughs> and I've gotta have a, a fan to go to sleep. So here's another view of the living room to the back porch. Again, just very open and airy. So next we're going to head upstairs. I'll just show y'all real quick. So we carried the shiplap um, up the stairs. Kept the, as I said, you know, the floors are pretty much these wood floors throughout. So I'm gonna bring you around here and show you the, the hallway. And no, I didn't just leave my, you know, 4th of July decor out. Um, I just kind of, I'm gonna leave this flag up for um, probably year round. And the, I kind of just have an Americana theme going on up here. Kind of red, white, and blue. As you can see in the guest room. Kind of have that red, white, and blue going on. Again, we did um, just a shiplap accent wall. And this is one area of the house. We did uh, another color other than white. This is um, Sherwin-Williams Sea Salt. It's a nice, soft kind of bluish greenish gray um, so this is our guest room again that's the closet and then through here is a little bathroom <coughs> kind of the vintage looking black and white tile 
Just kept it pretty simple in here. Um, this bed frame was found on Facebook Marketplace as well. And it was perfect for our guest room. A few more antique pieces like the nightstand. Now we'll move to my daughter's room. Kind of kept the theme of, you know, vintage farmhouse. And that's pretty much my style is just vintage antique farmhouse. These rocking chairs are antique pieces. I believe we got this dresser for like 20 bucks and I painted it. Did some shelves here with a mixture of new and old pieces. And then she has a bathroom. And there is the exact same as the other side, the guest room. And then this is my husband's office. He has probably the best view in the house. We did an accent board and batten wall. And this is, I don't know if you can tell, it's kind of a dark, um, dark green color. I think it's Sherwin-Williams, it's called Shade Grown. That kind of a masculine color. My husband's into golf as well. We got this old secretary for free. Okay, so that's about it for the tour. Um, I hope y'all enjoyed it. And I appreciate Holly again so much for inviting me to share my home with y'all. And thanks for stopping by. A big thank you to Victoria for sharing her stunning home today. I hope you guys got lots of inspiration and I will see you guys in tomorrow's home tour. Bye.